folks good morning this is michael happy tuesday in the wee hours of the night with your daily trivia question once again wow what a way to start a week how huh? we had torrential rain we had flooding we had we had some snow afterwards and then everything kind of dried out so now it's like super cold and there could be black ice on the ground <laughs> there you go we got nowhere to go but up from there, folks, as far as the weather goes. So anyways, the answer to the previous trivia question was none other than the famous horror story of Frankenstein. Frankenstein tells the story of Victor Frankenstein, who is the scientist, which is, in and of itself is a really cool trivia question to trick people up because Frankenstein is uh, the monster in the story is often mistaken for Frankenstein, when in actuality it was the scientist. Got to pay attention to these things, folks. Anyways, Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But Frankenstein is, tells the story of a young scientist who creates a creature in an unorthodox scientific experiment. Shelley started writing the story when she was only 18, and the first edition was published in London when she was 20. This is really a remarkable story. Shelley got the idea of Frankenstein when she traveled through Europe a couple of years prior through Germany and Switzerland and after considerable thought and infusing elements of the Gothic novel and the Romantic movement, she was inspired to write the story after imagining a scientist who created life and was horrified by what he had made. When Frankenstein was first published, Mary Shelley did not attach her name to the story. It was originally published anonymously. It has been argued that Frankenstein should be considered the first true science fiction story, which I really do believe. The novel has had a considerable influence on literature, popular culture, horror movies, of course, films, plays, you name it. There's too many adaptations of Frankenstein to cite, really. Some of my favorite, of course, are The Bride of Frankenstein, the comedy aspect of like Abbott and Costello when Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. And of course, Mel Brooks's Young Frankenstein. This is what a lot of people my age grew up with, uh, with Igor and the Abbey Normal Brain and um, that hilarious take on Mary Shelley's story. Today, the novel is generally considered to be a landmark work that was penned by a teenager. Oh, that gets lost and how famous and iconic the story became. An 18-year-old teenager wrote this story. Frankenstein has been listed as one of the most 100 influential novels. Uh, Mary Shelley would go on to uh, eventually die of brain cancer at the age of 53, and she's buried in London. Thank you very much, Mary, for that wonderful contribution. All right, and that brings us to today's trivia question to keep moving our week along for January 4th. On this day in 1995, the 104th Congress of the United States becomes the first to do this following the midterm congressional elections. It was the first time it had been accomplished in 40 years since 1952. Awesome trivia question. Love this, folks. Good luck. You guys be safe out there driving around. Thanks for all you do. Peace out.